sure get out of bed right now, it's 9 o'clock, school started 15 minutes ago. Seriously, did you have to kick my door off its hinges just to prove a point? Well Dora, I wouldn't have done it if you hadn't slept until 9 o'clock on a Friday morning. Now, get out of bed and get ready. I don't want to go. I don't feel good. You're fine, I know you're just trying to get out of going to school. Now get ready for school, you better wish you didn't miss too much of class. I'll drive you, but you have to hurry. And you're going to pay for my door, right? Whatever, sure I will. Just get ready. You know what, no. I'm not going to get ready. Come on mom, was that really necessary? Why did you throw me in the car? Of course, it was necessary. You refused to get ready, so you made me resort to it. Okay Dora, we're here. Get out of the car. No, I will not get out of the car Dora. Fine, I'll get out of the car you spaz. Happy now. Furry, now go in the school, grab a late slip, and get to class. Goodbye, good luck, have a nice day. Okay class, because I'm in a good mood, likely because Dora isn't here today, and it's Friday, we're going to play some Kahoot. Well speak of the devil, look who decided to show up. Dora, this is the third time this week you've been late, you're lucky I haven't given you detention yet. Yeah yeah, whatever you need to say to yourself. Would you rather me be late, or not come at all? Honestly I would have preferred the latter, now go sit down, everyone's been waiting all week for this. Oh, what were you going to do that was so special? I was gonna host a few games of Kahoot for the class, but now I'm not too inclined to do it because the bane of my existence just entered my classroom. Okay, that's a pretty petty reason to cancel something the class has supposedly been waiting all week for. For once Dora, you're actually right. I suppose there's a first thing for everything. I'm going to turn the game on. There's Chromebooks at the back of the room if you don't have a phone. Alright guys, the game's ready. The code is 8008135. Alright, time to log into the computer first. What the hell is wrong with my computer? I know for a fact I typed the right password. Alright, looks like we got six people in here, I'm going to start the match. Three, two, one. Wait, I'm trying to join the match, just give me a few minutes. Well you better hurry the hell up and join the match, you're holding back the entire class. I'm trying, but my computer is being stupidly slow for some reason, it says 30 minutes remaining. Now 31. Well then you're probably just gonna have to sit this one out. Say, if your computer's not working, maybe try playing using your phone. Ms. Martin, if you remember correctly, you told me I wasn't allowed to bring my phone to school anymore after I recorded Caillou being a moron. Come on Ms. Martin, start the match already. No, don't start the match. Dora, you're taking too long, so we're just gonna play without you. 3, 2, 1, go. Dora, where the hell are you going with that computer? I'll be right back. I can't let that kid destroy school property again. Alright, time to teach this idiot computer a lesson. <laughs> Dora what the heck are you doing? It's obvious what I'm doing. I'm destroying this computer to teach both you and the idiot computer a lesson. 
Hello? Jora, how dare you break a school computer? That thing costed us 10 entire dollars. That's it. I'm calling your parents. Maybe that'll teach you a thing or two about vandalizing school property. Dora, how dare you, how dare you break a school computer? Now thanks to you, we have to pay 10 whole dollars in damage repairs. That's a lot of money for you. That's it Dora, you are so oh 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 grounded 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 for two weeks. Go to your room right now. Oh man, I've never truly appreciated peace and quiet until now. Crap, Dora's home. Hey Dora, how was school? I mean, we did some of the usual, work, work, followed by more work, but then Miss Martin announced something. Oh really, and what's the news? She's planning a huge field trip to Disneyland on Friday, so I was wondering if I could go. No, you are still grounded. Come on, please, I'll do anything. I don't care what you'll do, you're grounded, and there's no arguing with that. Now go to your room and feel sorry about yourself. No no, there has to be something I can do. I don't want to be stuck at home while everyone else in my class is in Disneyland having the time of their lives. I don't know Dora, I'll think about it. Come on, I'll do anything. Anything? Yes, anything. Okay then Dora. In that case, I'll let you go on a field trip to Disneyland, on one condition. Dora 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 Wake up, wake up! You don't want to be late for your field trip, do you? Mom, it's 5.35 in the freaking morning. Your teacher decided the departure date, not me. Now wake up if you don't want to miss your ride, because I'm not driving you. Can I please just have five more minutes of sleep? That's all I'm asking. Not gonna happen Dora, now get out of bed, get ready, and get in the car. I'll drive you to school, and the bus can take it from there. Also, while you're there, don't do anything stupid that could get you into trouble or cost us money. You got that? Yes mother. Good, now get out of bed, the car awaits. I swear, if Dora doesn't come to the school before the coach bus gets here, we're all leaving without her. She sent me a message not too long ago saying that she was coming, she should be here any second now. Okay Dora, we're here. And two minutes earlier. You're still lucky I agreed to take you. Yeah yeah, thanks I guess. Well, I suppose I'll see you at 8. Yes. And don't forget the chores you have to do to make up for the $100 I spent on your trip. Yes I'll do them when I get home. Well, see you. Oh, here she comes. whoop dee doo dora you're lucky you arrived here right now, because we were on the verge of leaving you behind and going to Disney ourselves. What are you talking about Miss Martin? You told us to arrive here at 6, and right now it's 5.59. Oh, you misheard me. I said the bus was going to arrive here at 6 o'clock, not that you weren't supposed to show up until 6 o'clock, but it appears to be running late. So what do you suggest we do until the bus comes? Just hang in tight, 
It should be coming any second now. Sheesh, look at the thing. No wonder this trip was so expensive. All right, everyone, the bus is here. Let's hop into it and head to our hotel. It'll take three hours or so to get there. We'll settle in and then go to Disney. Understood? I take your silence as yes. Now let's go. I can't believe I had to wake up at 5.30 just to get ready for this trip. It's not that bad. I mean we do get to miss a day of school just to have fun at Disney. Doesn't excuse the fact that I had to wake up at the crack of dawn to go on this stupid field trip. That's interesting Dora, because I remember you saying you were excited for this trip. Shut the hell up you self-centered waste of oxygen. Why don't you go back to writing love letters for Clementine? You were doing what? Yeah, I saw him writing a love letter to Clementine the other day. Um, no I'm not. She's, um, lying. Okay, that checks out. Jeez, I can't believe Rosie actually believed Caillou's blatant lies. Everyone knows he has a crush on Clementine. Don't worry, Caillou's just trying to get under your skin. I literally don't think I can survive on the bus for three hours with them. They're so aggravating. Oh. You have no idea what it's like to live with them until you're 18. It's probably hell, isn't it? Worse. Much worse. Caillou is as dumb as a rock. What did you just call me? You wanna be explorer? Allow me to say it in slow motion so you'll understand. Caillou is as dumb as a rock. Do you understand that? Is that so? Because you look like you just got lost in the Amazon jungle and found your way back to civilization. You're one to talk. Your head looks like a balloon that's about to burst. I have no more insults for you. So, you're stupid. Oh, I'm the stupid one? Yeah, well, Actually, looks like they're the going back. at it again. You're more I should than probably just shut stupid. them up before you're this goes way society. out of my control. You're like a canker sore at the top of society's. You two better shut up and stop fighting before I tell the driver to turn this bus around, drop you off at the school, and go to Disneyland without you. Sheesh, yes ma'am. Good, because I'm not bluffing. Now both of you mind your own business. Well. This is going to be the longest and most painful bus ride of my life. Hey, it looks like we've arrived at the hotel. I'm so eager to finally get off this bus. Man. Can you believe we have to room with those two? What a huge drawback. I know Dora. I don't want to room with them either. They're for sure going to ruin the trip. They always do. Hey, you talking smack about us? No, you misheard me. Now run along. No no, I'm pretty sure I know what I heard. Something along the lines of, I can't believe we have to room with those two. Okay, so what if I did say that? You're both so annoying. You're always fighting and crying and it's just too much for us to deal with. Yeah, and the big M told us to stop fighting, so maybe you should continue writing your love letters and leave us alone. Okay, enough with the stupid love letter bullcrap. I don't have a crush on Clementine, she's way out of my league. Now I assure you if you bring up this again, I will make both of your experiences at Disney hell. Oh really? Well, I have a video that you both might love to see. Huddle up. We'll watch it together. Hi Clementine. It's me, Caillou. I hope you're doing well. I miss you so much and I can't wait to see you again. I wanted to write you a letter to tell you how much I love you. You're the best thing that's ever happened to me. You make me so happy and I can't imagine my life without you. I love the way you make me feel, like I can do anything. I'm so grateful to have you in my life. I hope you know how much I love you and how much I care about you. I'll never stop loving you, no matter what happens. I hope we can be together forever. I love you, 
Clementine. Love. Caillou. I don't have a crush on Clementine, my butt. Um, well, you see. Now, Rosie, you see that guy who just ran away when his biggest secret was revealed. That's what you call a loser. Wow, I, um, didn't think he would lie to me like that. Sorry for how I treated you on the bus. It's fine. I suppose I'm sorry too. All right, apology accepted. But I have to ask, how did you even get access to Caillou's voice recordings to Clementine? The fool accidentally sent it to me, likely because he doesn't know how to use Gmail. Wow, yikes. So, we're cool? Yes, we're cool. Sweet, I'm going to go play games until we head to Disney. I'll talk to you later. See you. Well that went better than expected. Now I don't think Caillou will bother us anymore. That's what I like to hear. Well, we leave for Disney in an hour. Wanna do something around the hotel? Maybe they have breakfast stands. I didn't eat anything because I had to get up so early. Alright, sure. Let's go. Aw oh man, that was good. I know right, I still can't believe that it was a free all you can eat. Man, you gotta be rich as heck to offer a free AYCE. Attention everyone, we're leaving to go to Disneyland now. Please board the bus. Well that's our cue. Let's go. Man, just imagine all the rides we'll get to go on. I'm going to go on Thunder Mountain first. Yeah, me too. But you know what, I think I'm going to try going on all the coasters. Sounds ambitious, I'll go on whatever you go. Hopefully we're in the same group. Sweet. I kind of hope we get put with Caillou, watching him faint on the fast ride would be worth gold. Yeah, but at the same time I don't. Understandable. So... Are we gonna talk about it? Talk about what? About you secretly dating Clementine and lying to me about it for months. Look Rosie, I wasn't dating. Cut the crap, Caillou. Don't lie. I have rock solid evidence you and Clementine are dating. Evident by the audio recording Dora showed us. You watched it. You and I both know it. Okay, fine. I admit it. Clementine and I are dating, but it was supposed to be secret, because you are way too pushy. Pushy? How am I pushy? You've just been hiding it from me for so long. I want an explanation. I don't feel like it right now. I'll give you an explanation later. Fine. Just try not to be such a jerk. Fine. Deal. Hey, I can see Disney off in the distance. Okay, now that we're here, I'm going to assign you into two groups and I'll assign you chaperones. Just please don't give them a hard time, because if you start acting up you will be sent back to the park entrance where you will stay until the bus arrives for us to go home. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into groups. Man, I really hope I get put in a group with Daisy. Alright, group one is... Dora. Daisy. And Caillou. Hey Miss Martin, can we please get put with someone else, anyone else? If you would like, you could sit at the front of the park and do nothing for the day instead, otherwise, suck it up and be in a group with Caillou. Fine, but that doesn't mean I'm happy about it. Whatever. Anyway, group two is the rest of you, Rosie, Arthur and Leo. I'll be the chaperone for group 1, and Doris will be the chaperone for group 2. Now get into your groups, and then you can head into the park. Man, I can't believe we have to be in a group with Caillou. Oh, like I'm happy about it? Miss Martin, why did you have to put me and Daisy in a group with him? Dora, if I had the liberty of choosing who goes in what group do you really think I would have chosen to chaperone you guys instead of the other group? Your blatant acts of favoritism confuse me. So, now that we're here, what do we do? I thought you said you're going on Thunder Mountain first. 
I was, but I don't see it anywhere, and it's not like we were given maps or anything. Well then, what do you suggest we do? I think we should just walk around the park and go on whatever attractions look, well, attracting. We could just argue and argue about what tried to go on, but since I'm with you two it'll inevitably lead to nowhere, so I think we should just do what Miss Martin said. Alright fine. Let's go around the park and see if we can find any rides that look fun. Hey, why don't we go on that ride? It seems fun. Alright, it looks fun. Let's go. I don't want to go on that ride. What are you for? It's just a ride. It won't kill you. I don't care. I'm not going. What's the point of going to Disneyland if you're not going on any rides? Oh, I'm going on rides. I'm just not going on that one. How about this? Me and Daisy can go on the ride, and you can stay here and sulk. Fine. I don't care, just go. Gladly. Come on Caillou, let's go sit on that bench over there. Aw oh man, that was such a fun ride. I can't believe you almost fainted. Took you long enough to come back. We've been waiting for what felt like hours. Oh, you ever heard of a line? Yeah? It was only 10 minutes dude. Get a grip. It would've went by a lot faster if you actually went on the ride. Well I didn't go on the ride, so deal with it. Hey, I'm not complaining. It was actually kind of nice without you on the ride. Yeah, yeah, say that if it helps you sleep at night. So, what are we doing now? We are going to wander around the park and go on another ride, genius. Get off your lazy butt and let's go. I'm gonna kill her. Jeez, can't you two just get along? No we can't, Dora's too much of a whiner. Whatever. Let's go follow them before we lose them. All right, fine. Let's go. Wow, look at that carousel. Yeah, looks fun. I'm gonna go on it. Well, I'm not. I'm gonna sit out again. Caillou, you're such a baby. You know that? It's just a freaking carousel. Get a grip. I don't care what it is. I'm not going on it. Fine by us. Daisy, let's go. Oh, here they come. Man, that was really fun. A bit slow for my liking, but still fun. Caillou, I'm telling you, you're missing out. I don't care. Say, maybe we should get some food. It's 11.30. Alright, I'm a bit hungry. Cool. Let's go look around the park for a place to eat. You're paying for your own food though. Jeez, what a long day. Yeah, that was fun, but also tiring. Maybe we should call it quits for the day. Yeah, it's 5.59 right now. We should probably start heading for the bus. Man, what a long day. I'm actually kind of happy we are going home now, I'm so tired. Me too, I'm surprised Caillou didn't ruin our trip as much as I thought he would. But hey, guess what? What? Rosie told me that Miss Martin told her the bus was going to stop at McDonald's. Wow, that's so cool, I can't wait to buy 20 Big Macs and 10 large Oreo McFlurries. Me too, I'm going to buy at least 5 boxes of chicken MC nuggets and 10 large Oreo MC flurries. Me too. We just gotta wait until we get there though. Hey, I can see out the window, we're approaching a McDonald's. Did the bus just pass right by McDonald's? Yeah, it did. Well, it looks like we're not getting any McFlurries today. Who says I won't just hijack this bus? Oh man, that bus driver totally didn't see that coming. It's just smooth sailing from here. McDonald's, here I come. Oh looky here, there's a McDonald's up ahead. Time to put the pedal to the metal.
What? Why the hell are we flying? I'm gonna have to consult the bus driver. Dora, what the hell are you doing? I'm taking us to McDonald's. What does it look like? It looks like you've successfully launched us approximately 150 feet into the air, and we don't even know where we're going to land. Oh man, this is the life. Just me, myself, and I know Dora, since she's on her stupid field trip. Now, time to watch TV. Well, someone's got a lot of explaining to do. So are you ready to get ready for your last day at school or what? If you had said that speaker any louder I wouldn't have been alive to get ready for school. Well Dora, that's your own fault for sleeping in. Is that right? I didn't realize that sleeping in until 7 a.m. on the last day of school was considered a crime. Besides, I stayed up late last night studying for my final exams. Sleeping in until 7 o'clock a.m. on your last day of school shows a lack of responsibility Dora. And forgive me if I find it hard to believe that you were studying all night. I don't need your beliefs, Mom. I know how hard I worked. And for your information, my grades have been consistently good this year. News flash Dora, a D- isn't a consistently good grade. Also, it's just gonna go downhill from here if you continue to be late. I wouldn't have been late even if I woke up at 7.30. And besides, it's not like I'm going to miss anything important. We're just going to watch some movies and have a party. That's literally all we do on the last day. You might not think it's important, Dora, but it's still your responsibility to show up on time. And if you don't start taking your education seriously, you're going to regret it in the future. I honestly couldn't care less about my education. Well I do, and I'm your mother, so get ready for school right now. Whatever, just let me grab my backpack and we can go. No, we don't have time. You should have been ready already. We're leaving now. If I get in deep crap because my teacher noticed I didn't have a backpack, it's on you. Yeah yeah sure, I don't care, just get in the car. Okay, let's go. Well I guess it's time to go in. Late again, huh Dora? You know, you're becoming the bane of my existence. I don't think missing the first 10 minutes of a movie is going to ruin my chances of passing. It won't, but you still need to be on time, whether I'm playing a movie or not. And why don't you have a backpack? Long story. I don't want to hear it, just sit down. Okay, well, now that everyone's here, I'd like to hand out your final report cards. What the hell Ms. Martin? I got all F's on literally every subject. I couldn't have sucked that hard, couldn't I? Well Dora, you couldn't have sucked that hard, had you just shown up for class on time, instead of arriving an hour late every day. Well, 
Thanks to you, I won't be graduating this year. You will. It'll just be a little bit different. Oh, and how is that? Guess what? You have to go to summer school. Oh, 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 I can't go to summer school not after all this time I spent in this hellhole. I can't oh 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 Get a grip Dora, it's not that big a deal. It is big a deal. I had plans this summer, and now I can't graduate unless I miss them. That's too bad. Now get out of my classroom. I'm done arguing. Stupid Miss Martin, giving me all Fs. Mom is gonna kill me if she sees this. Maybe it's best if I didn't show her. Hey! Hey is for horses. Now leave me alone. Not so fast, young lady. I need to see your report, and I need to see it now. Oh. I got straight A's. No need for me to show you. Oh really? Want me to tell you how I know that's bull crap? How? I just got an email from your teacher, and she told me that your grades were, and I quote, less than average, to put it politely. Okay okay, fine. Here's my report card. What happened to the D- minus you were apparently getting? I swear, Ms. Martin just gave me all Fs because she hates me, and no other reason. Wanna know what's worse? She said I have to do summer school if I want to graduate middle school. Oh 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 you are grounded, 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 grounded for any number that pops into my head to the power of 69 times 420 generations, and forever after that. Go to your room now. Well, I guess I have to go in. Man, this is literally the worst schedule ever. Ouch. Well, 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 if it isn't a little pipsqueak kid. What's a kindergartner like you doing in this harsh and cruel high school? Oh my god, I'm not in the mood for your crap right now. Move out of the way. Oh, look at you, little kid. Think you're so tough, huh? Well, guess what? I won first place in my boxing competition. I really couldn't give two craps. Listen bud, I'm not in the mood for your high school drama BS right now. Move out the way. Oh, you think you're so smart, huh? Yeah, basically. Well you're not. I get the impression that I am though. You're just a nobody. And you're just full of yourself. You think winning a boxing competition makes you something? Newsflash, it doesn't. What did you just say to me? Oh, did I hurt your feelings? You should throw that boxing trophy in the trash, along with your career. <coughs> oh my god, move! Why are you late? Sorry Ms. Martin. I got held up at the door by someone who thinks winning a boxing competition makes them oh so special. Well, that's no excuse for being late, Dora, especially on the first day. 
You know the rules. Do I? Because it's the first day. Dora, you've been in my class for years now. You know very well that being late is against the rules. That's it. That's strike one for today. Strikes? Since when did we start using strikes? We're implementing a new system, Dora. Strikes are a way to keep track of your behavior. Each time you break a rule or cause a disruption, you'll receive a strike. And when you accumulate five strikes, there will be consequences. Consequences? This is ridiculous. You're just trying to control us. It's not about control, Dora. It's about teaching you responsibility and accountability for your actions. Now please take your seat and let's continue. Welcome everyone to your first day of high school. I hope you all had a great summer break. My name is Ms. Martin, and I'll be your math teacher for this semester. Today, we will be discussing our goals and expectations for this school year. Now, some of you may already know each other if you came from the same middle school, but since most of you don't, we'll be doing a little icebreaker activity. One by one, you'll introduce yourself and tell everyone about yourself, like your hobbies, interests, and any goals you have for this year. Let's start with you, Caillou. Okay, um, hello, everyone. I'm Caillou. Not Kalu, Caillou. There's a difference. Anyways, I love playing video games and hanging out with my friends. My goal for this year is to improve my grades and maybe join a sports team. Great, Caillou. It's important to have goals and aspirations. Rosie, you're up. Hi, everyone. I'm Rosie, Kalu's sister. I enjoy reading, painting, and spending time with my friends and family. This year, I want to become more confident and try new things. Wonderful. Rosie. Confidence is key to personal growth. Now for you, Dora. Me? Why me? Because you're the next desk over from Rosie. Okay. If you insist, I'm Dora, and I like, well, I don't really like anything. My goal for this year is to survive without losing my mind. That's a rather bleak goal, Dora. But I'm glad you're being honest. Let's hope we can make this year a positive experience for you. Moving on, Daisy, it's your turn. Sure, uh, I'm Daisy, and I like listening to me. And I really enjoy playing soccer. My goal for this year is to make it onto the school's varsity team. Very good, Arthur. Now that everyone's introduced themselves, we can get on to our first math lesson for the year. Today, we will be learning about linear equations and graphing. Yay, I love learning new things about math. Shut the hell up, nerd, and do my homework. How about you shut the hell up and listen to the damn lesson? Whatever, Caillou. You're just a goody-two-shoes teacher's pet. And that's strike two, Dora. Keep it up and you're getting suspended. Ugh, drama queen. Hold on. I'm the drama queen. You're the one causing all the drama, Dora. Just try to focus on the lesson for once. Focus on the lesson? Please, Caillou. I'm way too advanced for this basic math stuff. I should be in an advanced class with intelligent people, not stuck in this remedial hellhole. Okay, everyone just shut up. I'm ready to begin the lesson. Thank you. Now, let's start by discussing linear equations. A linear equation represents a straight line on a graph. It has two variables, typically represented by x and y, and can be written in the form y equals mx plus b where m represents the slope of the line, and b represents the y-intercept. The slope tells us how steep the line is, and the y-intercept tells us where the line crosses the y-axis. Oh the man, look at the nerd Caillou, he's actually paying attention and taking notes. What a loser. Maybe I should teach him a little lesson. ...where there is a linear relationship between two variables. By Anderson. What the hell was that for Dora? Oops, sorry. I must have missed the trash can. My aim isn't as good as my intelligence, you know. You know what? Haha, <laughs> missed me baldy. That's it, you wanna catch these hands? Oh, I'd love to see you try, baldy K.I.U. But I suggest you think twice before messing with me. I've got moves you can't even imagine. 
Oh hell no. Break it up. Break it up. That's enough. Both of you, sit down and behave yourselves. I will not tolerate this kind of behavior in my classroom. Dora, that's strike three for today. Two more and you're suspended. What the hell? You're giving me a strike and not him. Yeah, because unlike you, Caillou didn't initiate the fight. He was defending himself. You instigated the whole thing, Dora. Now, sit down and stay quiet for the rest of the class. This is BS. I don't want to hear it, Dora. Now let's continue with the lesson. The equation, y equals mx plus b is fundamental in math, due to its ability to represent relationships between variables in a linear fashion. Hey, Dora, why are you on your phone? I'm just doing something more important than this boring math lesson. I agree, but you really shouldn't risk it. Oh, come on, Daisy. What's the worst that could happen? It's not like Ms. Martin is going to catch me. Hey, Dora. Put that phone away right now. That's strike four, and you're pushing your luck. Ugh, fine. But this is so unfair. Caillou gets away with everything, and I'm the one getting all the strikes. Dora, I've had enough of your attitude. Caillou has been nothing but respectful and focused in class today. You, on the other hand, have been disruptive and disrespectful. It's time to take responsibility for your actions. Whatever. I don't care anymore. All right, everyone, it's time for lunch. Remember to be back in the classroom in half an hour. Oh, Ms. Martin and Caillou are going to get it. Hey, Dora. You forgot your piece of paper. I don't need it. Just throw it away. Fine, suit yourself. Man, screw Caillou, and screw my teacher. I'll make that bald little idiot pay. <sighs> wow, that kid really labeled his locker for everyone to see. What an idiot. Well, let's see how he likes it if I vandalize it. Ugh, just because the secretary is gone I have to check the stupid cameras. Alrighty then, let's see what we got here. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's part of my job, but seriously, who wants to spend their time watching a bunch of kids misbehaving? Let me guess, another case of bullying? Kids running in the halls? Ah, there it is. Called it. Hold on a second. What's this? Looks like Dora on one of the cameras. She's not supposed to be in there. Let's see what she's up to. Ms. Martin, please report to my office immediately. Hey Mr. Principal, you called me? Yes, Ms. Martin. I was reviewing the surveillance footage, and I stumbled upon something rather alarming. Dora, one of your homeroom students, has spray-painted on another student's locker. Dora, Dora, Dora. I'm not surprised, to be honest. She's been pushing the limits all day, and this is just another strike against her. Let's call her in. If she's at five strikes, she'll get a suspension. Dora Marquez. Please report to my office immediately. And now, we wait. Hey, you called? Yeah, I did. You're suspended. For what? I saw you spray paint on another student's locker, which, need I remind you is school property, and Ms. Martin over there told me you've gotten four strikes before, so that's the final straw, Dora. You are suspended for four days. Dora, 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 how dare you get five strikes at school, vandalize another student's locker, and get suspended. That's it. You are grounded, 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 grounded for two months. You take your ugly pink shirt up to your room this instant.
Attention, attention. This is your principal, Jack Paul, reminding you that the Halloween dance is happening tonight at the ungodly hour of 7 p.m. Yes, my dear students, you have the wonderful opportunity to spend your evening awkwardly shuffling around a dimly lit gymnasium with fellow hormonal adolescents. But here's the kicker, today is your last chance to buy those oh-so-desirable tickets. You know, those tickets that cost a whopping $2 each. So, if you're interested in wasting your hard-earned lunch money on this glorified social gathering, hustle your way to the ticket booth before the end of the day. Please wait for the bell for dismissal. Thank you. Well, you heard the man, get out of my classroom. Just leave your tests on your desk, I'll collect them. So Dora, are you going to the dance tonight? No, I don't think so. Why is that? I don't really feel like dancing. But you don't have to dance. It's just sort of a social event, you know? A chance to hang out with friends and have fun. It's not just about the dancing, Daisy. I don't have any money to pay for the tickets or the fancy clothes everyone's going to wear. And besides, today is the last day to pay for your tickets, and since I don't really have money on me at the moment, I can't buy one. Oh, well in that case, I'm more than happy to pay for your ticket for you. Here's two dollars, go to the ticket booth outside the cafeteria and buy one. Wow Daisy, very cool. Thank you. Yeah, I'll see you on the bus. Hey Mr. Paul, is it too late to buy tickets? Um, no, but you're cutting it a bit close there Dora. Sorry, I haven't really had the opportunity to buy tickets until now. But I have two dollars, so I'd like a ticket please. Fine. Here, have a ticket. Thanks Mr. Paul. I'll be on my way now. Man, I just know Dora's gonna do something bad. Hey Dora, how was school? Fine I guess. But I need you to drive me somewhere tonight. Dora, stop being so cryptic. Where do you want me to drive you? Well, my school is having a Halloween dance tonight, and I feel like going, so what do you say, can I go? It's at 7. How the hell did you even get the money to buy a ticket? We don't pay you allowance Dora. Wait, you better not have stolen my debit card again. No no. I didn't. I don't even think the school accepts debit. My friend was just nice enough to buy a ticket for me. So can I go? It's a yes or no question mom. Fine, fine, you can go. But you better not do anything stupid or else you will be grounded. Understood. I'm gonna go get a costume ready. Alright Dora, we're here. Get out of the car, go in the school, and do whatever you need to do. Just don't do anything stupid, or else you will be grounded. Yeah yeah, mom. I got it. Don't worry, I won't do anything stupid, but where is the fun in that? I'm serious, Dora. This is your chance to prove you can handle a little responsibility. No more wild stunts or crazy adventures. Just go in, have a normal time, and come back out. Understood? Sure, Mom. Totally understood. Just a boring, ordinary Halloween dance. Got it? I don't care that it's boring. You asked to do this, and I agreed to take you, so you'll act like a responsible young adult. I've had enough of your antics, Dora. It's time for you to start acting your age. Whatever. I'm going in now, see you at 9. Have a nice time at the dance, Dora.
and that's when I said, you look like a fish. Oh, I gotta go Clementine, Dora's here. Man, what is my life right now? Hey Dora, glad you could make it. Hi Daisy. You didn't bring a costume. No, I didn't. That an issue. You can't come to a Halloween dance without a costume. What are they gonna do? The uh, kick me out? For what purpose? Fair point. What is there to even do in here? Let's just walk around. Sure, why not? Hey, what are you doing here without a costume? Um, living a perfectly happy and normal life? You can't attend the dance if you don't have a costume. It's the rules. And where does it say that? Give me your ticket. See, it says it. Right here. And how is anyone supposed to read that? Rules are rules, Dora. The door is that way. Get out. This is so stupid. I'll get revenge, I swear. Did Dora seriously forget to lock the door on her way out? Wow, this has got to be the most realistic bear costume I've ever seen. Are you guys seeing this? I just gotta take the mask off and see who it is. <coughs> uh, guys, it's a real bear. Alright, I got my spray paint. Now I can spray paint all over the walls and vandalize the school, and hopefully teach it a little lesson. Excuse me, what is that? Um, a bear. <laughs> oh hell no, I'm getting out of here. Okay, just for the record, I wasn't here when the bear somehow got in, so does someone care to educate me? You left the door unlocked, that's how. Shut up Rosie, I don't remember asking for your stupid opinion. But you just did. What did I just say? Stop talking. Anyway, Caillou, what did you do to the bear to make it aggressive? Yeah, um, I approached it when it broke it, and I tried to touch it. I thought it would be harmless. Harmless? Did you think it was gonna invite us to tea and crumpets, Caillou? This is the bear we're talking about. Ahem. If I might intervene, I want to bring up that Eudora have left the exit door unlocked, allowing the bear to enter the building in the first place. So, you know the drill. I am calling your parents. Hey mom, guess what? I finally got my semester report card back today, and get this, I didn't get an F. Really? Give me that. Well at least you bust. Yeah, I know. So can we go? Go where? You're not making any sense Dora. Quit playing dumb mom, you said that if I got a passing grade on my report card, you would take me to Pizza Hut for a full size pepperoni pizza. I said no such thing. Quit lying mom. I have been looking forward to this moment all week, and you can't take this away from me. So take me to Pizza Hut right now or I will put rats in your car. That is not a threat, that is a promise. Well I guess since I'm pretty hungry, and we have absolutely nothing to eat in the cupboard, then fine, we can go to Pizza Hut. But you better be on your best behavior young lady. Sure thing mom. Thank you. Dora, your teacher's calling. What? No, you don't have to answer that. Nonsense Dora, she's probably just calling to congratulate you on passing. Hello? Hello, this is Anne Martin calling from Y Even Try High School. I do believe you are the mother of Dora Marquez, 
is that correct? Um, yes I am, what seems to be the problem? Well, I'd assume you've seen your daughter's report card, correct? Yes I have, she told me she got a D-. minus. What? No she didn't, she failed literally everything, and I do believe I explicitly stated that on her report card. What? Then how come her report card said D-? minus? I don't know, she probably drew it on there, she's good at that. Walk home, I'm getting pizza for myself. Good morning class, I will take attendance. Caillou. Here. Rosie. Rosie. Oh, uh, here. If I see you on your phone one more time it's going in the safe. Yes ma'am. Daisy. I'm present. Jason and Jeffrey. Present. Here. Brian. Here. Emma. I'm present. Hair Caillou. Yay 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 I'm here. I can't wait to get the rainbow card. Chill out Miss Dez. Big Billy. Yes miss I am present. Clementine. Here. Dora. Dora late again eh? Very well then. I'll be marking her as absent. Get in there Dora. Have a good day at school. Ah, uh, good morning Dora, go take a seat. Okay class, now since it's Friday, we're going to be playing some Kahoot. I know, I know, I'm the best. Now everyone pull out your phones and we'll be playing a quick game of Kahoot. Hey, Miss Martin. Yes, Herr Caillou. Didn't you say yesterday that we'd be having a math test today? Wow, you're right, I almost forgot. Everyone. Clear your desks and pull out a pencil and paper. We'll be working on a math test for the rest of the period. Yay, 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 yay. I reminded the teacher of the math test. I am such a good boy. I am definitely getting the rainbow card for behavior card day. <laughs> I'm in danger! Settle down class, beating the crap out of Hair Caillou is not going to change the fact that you'll be having a math test today. Now clear your desks, put devices in your pockets, and you can get started right away once you're given the test. Ha, huh, this is going to be too easy, I can just look in my notes and- Oh, I forgot to mention, this test will not be open book, no notes and binders are permitted to be on your desks during the period. And the test will consist of things that I have never once brought up in this class, and I'm going to be shoving this in your face now because screw you. And also, even though this test is only out of 10 marks it is indeed worth approximately 45% of your final grade, so you all better get going. Okay, let's see what I'm up against. Oh no, I don't know any of these answers. I'm doomed. Ugh, I'm going to have to ask for help. Hey Caillou, what is the answer to question 1? Yeah, I'd rather die than give you the answers. Whatever Caillou, your show sucks anyway. Excuse me, but you can't say that about my favorite show you discussing ugly child abuser criminal- <laughs> Come on, there has to be somebody. Arthur. No way. Brian. Nah, I think I'll pass. Jason. No. Jeffrey. Go away, Dora. Emma. I lack the necessary permissions to deliver you the requested information. Daisy. I don't know any of these answers either. Rosie. I also don't know. Hair Caillou. No, Dora. Giving you the answers is cheating. And as the best boy in the whole wide world, it is my duty to prevent cheating. Hey, Miss Martin. Dora's asking for the answers. Don't worry, Hair Caillou. I heard the whole thing. Dora, how dare you try to cheat on the test? That's it. You are grounded, 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 grounded for seven days. Ha 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 ha. Are you hearing yourself right now? You're my teacher, not my guardian, so you have no authority to ground me. Looks like I'm running free to- Oh 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 oh